all get free, I guess. Um, so, yeah. All right. All right, boys. This is my uh, first look into uh, Pokey's Ar Archipelago. Um, um, a future spotlight. Um, I don't know if it's a future spotlight. I think it's a spotlight contender. Um, I think it's the first true spotlight contender we've had this year. I want to say. No. Um, obviously, with head -to -head, obviously, with head to head, there are kind of a limit on full scale releases, but. Um, I'm gonna review this park um, counterclockwise because I want to say the best section for last, I think. So uh, the first section, the entrance area, I think this is probably one of the stronger areas in the park, actually. It reminds me of um, Giari Palms, which is a park still in the making by Liam. Um, what is this? I don't know. Um, yeah, I think this is a very strong entrance area. Cool rides, uh, like I've said when reviewing Liam's work. Seeing the seating sections like this is very cool in LL. Um, I wish people would do more of that. Um, something I want to bring up is that this is an attempt at recreating a old school LL style of the old school spotlights. Um, I guess kind of like 2004 or 2006 or so. Um, somewhat of a throwback, which I guess I'll talk about that a little bit later. <sighs> yeah. Um, and in this section, I guess it's like the mine or industrial section. Um, Going up, yeah, so there's the mine sec, there's the industrial section of the park. Uh, I got a SLC here. Interesting layout. Um, the cool elements. Yeah, um, there's definitely a lot of good theming elements here. Personally, I'm not a fan of the layouts of the coaches at all in this park, but. A lot like of that, uh, good, good, design, good um, ideas, like using railroad track and wooden long mouse track. Yeah, I think. The best parts of this um, are definitely the interaction. This train plays very cool, and the, the foliage is very good as well. Um, the station is cool as well, kind of just this giant, massive buildings and whatnot. Uh, you got some cool uh, archways and stuff. Architecture is good, seating areas. Um, you have another area over here, a factory, wild mouse, I guess. Um, pretty standard almost layout. I like how he did the, uh, the articulate trains, though. It's cool to see the deal put that kind of effort into their releases. I think I'm a little bit different. Um, I quite like the, uh, the, uh, the roofs here. Um, not the biggest fan of the area overall. I feel like it's kind of like lacking in direction or theme. She had the factory thing right here, but other than that, it doesn't really feel like much. But um, they have the robot ride. We'll see. Um, well done. And I like how when you click on it, it actually says what it is. Because a lot of times people do custom rides like this, and you have no idea what it is because they don't name the rides. But I see that kind of touch. Your next section. Um, I have no idea what this section is. These things I don't. I don't really know if these sections have specific themes. They do. They do. Um, All right, just go into the next section, and uh, that looks. Uh, shit. Um, that looks like Aztec almost. Some somebody might have posted um, the themes in the. Let me see if I can find if somebody actually posted the uh, themes in the thread. 
Okay. I guess this is the Egypt. I guess we'll just call it Egypt because there's some Egypt objects, but um, yeah, again, kind of like a lagging direction of theme. Like I don't, I don't know. I can't just look at it and be like, oh, this is the Egypt section. Um, I guess you have these these signs here, but Panthera Jungle. And I guess this is the Ironworks over here. Um. Yeah, I think the layout layout's good. Uh, but we'd like to see more custom supports. Um, it's probably one of the better layouts in the park, honestly. Yeah, it is. Uh, the um, it's, it's nicely placed on these on these hills and terrain with the river. And kind of a grand station. Um, foliage is good. Um, not. Biggest kind of floods in this area, mostly because the jungle trees don't really look that great in my opinion, but... Uh, then we move on to this log flume, Tigris Falls. Um, like a mine theme station. Um, let's see if we can get the... Um, of course. Let me see if I can fix that. Okay. Hey, uh, Russell, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna do some shit. Okay. Right on. See you, thanks for... Yeah, oh, uh, you're welcome. Hopefully everyone enjoyed that. I'm not sure why this isn't getting fixed. Oh, it has been fixed, I guess. No? I guess the mechanic doesn't want to fix this ride. Okay, anyways. Uh, move on to this little section. I think this is one of the better sections in the park. With these cool uh, wooden poles, kind of adding some theming. Um, the river kind of is, uh, is the border, um, and a nice bridge. Uh, cool uh, junior coaster, probably one of the better lights in the park. Um, cool interaction with the queue. Station's not quite as good as some of the other rides, but I guess that's understandable seeing it's, it's a junior coaster, not a, a big time coaster. Um, this is probably one of the cooler, the coolest bridge in the park. There's this sign right here. Um, kind of this transition. But this is probably, this is probably the area that's easiest to understand that the Atlantis Atlantis area, probably the biggest area in the park as well. Um, very cool station, Sidon's Palace, um, huge, very old school, huge station. Um, I like how these cross bridges on the support. Um, nice to see some detail like that put in. Um, so, yeah, some cool interaction. Overall, obviously, going over the path, of course. Gotta have that. Um, nice steaming. To me, this section is kind of a little lifeless because there's not really a lot of foliage, especially over here. Kind of brown and all the paths the same. The architecture kind of blends with the path, which I guess is old school, but I mean, I, I wish she would have kind of strayed more away from the old school and tried to make it more aesthetically pleasing than just, you know, oh, this is like this park. 
that was made 10 years ago and try to base his, his aesthetic appeals on that. But um, we have Atlantis Aquarium over here, which is very cool. Probably some of the best architecture in the park, uh, buildings in the park right here. It's some of the best path, I think, too. Best foliage. Seems like the most like realistic amusement park, like uh, believable. Um, and we have the giant stadium. Gotta have one of those. Near LL parks. Um, I kind of wish you would have named these staff. Um, as characters rather than just being actor. So you could kind of get more of a character out of the show, like know what the show is or what it's themed to. Um, but overall, the stadium is very, very well done. Um, cool entrance, cool fountain. Probably my f second favorite section of the park. Um, then we transition into, what is this? Horus? It's like the desert, Middle Eastern section. Um, cool layout, not, not amazing, but nice. Um, some good interaction. Um, that was cool. Mummy. So yeah, I guess this is, this is, this is the Egyptian section. Yeah, a cool layout. Um, again, it's like, I kind of isn't really anything special to me, it's just, you know, I wish it would have been more of the focus of the area, rather than just something to add some interaction with. Um, cool theming. Back here, the train, the side shows. Um, then we have a eating area, very cool, Oasis restaurant, cool entrance, this is a very, uh, he's on this, um, cool castle as well, I think there's a ride here, yes there is, expedition, what is this called, expedition? Exhibition Expedition. Okay. Indoor ride. Cool to see those. I don't I don't really see those much. We don't really see those much. Our indoor rides. Um I think it's done well. I like these sort of castle theming. Again like grand entrance to the ride, which is cool. Um Then I think this is the transition to the best section of the park, which is like the bizarre market, Middle Eastern market, Arabian market. Um, it's a very cool, packed rides that really add atmosphere, your tents, your stalls, um, some cool theming, good architecture, diverse architecture, colors, um, nice layout. Um, well placed dodges, that's kind of cool. The go kart try kind of fell a little out of place. Um, I don't know, this kind of didn't really fit into the theming of the area to me. Probably would have felt better, or looked better to me. This was in the industrial or the steel second outside the 